No, Bert. Birds hate me, I swear. Check my phone in that storm. Did a bird just crap on me? You son of a That's it. I'm shooting all these birds right now. Yo, 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 what's up, y'all? My name is Ray Nail Roy. Welcome back to my channel, Fishing Trips, and we back for another vlog, y'all. Check it, man. A storm is coming. A storm is a coming. But that's right, man. I am back at the Texas City Dike. I'm not supposed to be here, man. I checked the weather report. Weather report was like, there's a 100% chance of rain, wind gusts up to 35, 40 knots. So I'm like, hell no, I ain't going fishing. But then I realized, you know what? Everybody thinking like I'm thinking, they're not going to go. So therefore, I should go. And there's probably not, you know, not a lot of people going to be out here today. So hopefully I can get on some flounder to go today. This is the second day that I've been fishing in the flounder competition at the Texas City Dike for the Boyd's Flounder um, competition. The leader right now after five days of the competition is a 20 inch, four pound, three quarter flounder. Y'all, it's only gonna take like a five pound flounder, like a 21, 21 inch flounder to be able to take the leaderboard. And we're talking about, some people say it's like three to $5,000 on the line for this particular flounder. So I'm out here and I'm looking for that first 20 plus incher I need to beat five pounds to take the leaderboard, but I'm going to do it for y'all. I'm, I'm going to take it home from the team. Although, I do have to admit, my PB is 19 inches, so in order for me to take the lead in this competition, I got to get my PB today in the rain, in a 35 mile hour gust and hurricane wind. I think I can do it. I think I can do it. There's a bite, there's a bite, there's a bite. Got a bite? Fall? I don't know if it's me or you. Oh, it might be me. All right, y'all, come on, let's get to work. We don't got a lot of time. Enjoy the episode. Let's go! All right, y'all, let's talk about my gear, man. I'm gonna be using my pins. 5,000. Yes, I brought it out of retirement. <laughs> Medium heavy rod. I got 30 pound braid. I got 20 pound mono leader. I'm using my Jetty Cork slip setup. If you want to see how I do this setup, check out the link in the description. I made a video about it. I'm going to use live shrimp with a treble hook. When I came out on day one to scout it, um, this was working, so I'm just going to try it. Was not planning on a hurricane coming through, but we'll see what happens. Let's go. Oh, there's a dump, there's a dump. Wait for it, wait for it. There we go, there we go. First flounder on the boat. All right, get on the boat, there we go. All right, got one, so they're here, but it's not a keeper. All right, so not what we're looking for. But it's a pretty flounder. Not what we're looking for though. Oh, got a dump. There we go. There we go. There's a dump. Wait for it. Let it eat it. And we're gonna set the hook. Set the hook. There we go. Not a keeper. Got us another one, man. All right, not a keeper. But we're starting to get our swag on. All right, once again, not a keeper. But it's getting bigger, it's getting bigger. Let's go find a bigger one, y'all.
All right, update. So I hit up the first ride for about an hour and a half. I caught a couple of small ones, like 10 inches. Um, the guys who you saw on the jetty as well, they were using like Berkeley Gulp. Um, amongst the three of them, they probably caught maybe like, like 10 flounder, um, one keeper. So um, that spot, it's, it's packed with flounder, but these 10 inch, 14 inch flounder is not gonna win this competition. So when I came here on day one to scout, um, there was a second spot that I know I wanted to try out. That's, there's two more spots, but the problem is there's another storm about to roll through in like an hour, like heavy, heavy. So, you know, I have to abandon that spot to go to my next spot and see if I can find that doormat, man. Storm is coming. The water is just turning up. It's getting crazy out here, but I'm the only person out here. So it's up to me to find this flatty and um, take home the trophy. <laughs> we we going to get a 20 plus inch flounder today, y'all. We taking the lead today. Come on, let's go. have arrived to spot number two um, once again I came out on day one of the tournament to scout certain locations this is one of them um, the water looks high let's go check it out before we get all our gear out <laughs> let me show y'all what I'm working with right now go fishing they said it be fun they said <laughs> no no they lying they lying y'all <laughs> all right come on man let's go check out the spot So hopefully my mic is muffling out some of this wind. I came here on day one. I was hoping that this area would be a little bit more protected based off how the winds are going. And it looks good, man. The water's gonna be a little bit higher. There's nobody here. It's kind of protected. Wind's going in a good direction. This looks good, man. This looks good. Got that beautiful, beautiful scenery right there. All majestic. All right, y'all, so this spot looks promising. I'm the only person on it. See, this is what I'm talking about. When I'm the only person dumb enough to come out and fish during a hurricane, then I'm gonna have all the spots to myself. So there could be a $5,000 flounder sitting right there. Let's get our gear, get on it and get it. All right, update. It is still raining. I'm still stuck in my truck. Um, storm is um, storm is chilling, man. The storm is chilling. Y'all can see here, right there. Y'all see that? Y'all see that? I'm in the middle of all that right there. Hold on, let me get a thumbnail. So yeah, I'm stuck in this storm, y'all. I ain't driving back home in it, so I might as well just wait it out. And I'm chilling, making sure this water don't come up with this damn dike. All right, yeah, we good. So yeah, man, I'm just chilling, man. People are leaving. I think I'm the only person left on the dike. To die, y'all, I'ma die! So let me tell you what that sign is about. So if you're familiar with Texas City Dike, you know Skyline Road is that long road that runs adjacent to the dike. Now apparently because of construction, the Skyline Road is going to be closed from November 1st through December 15th. Guess what is the exact date of November 1st through December 15th? The stoppage of flounder season. 
That's right. What are the odds that they shut down the whole Skyline Road at the exact time that flounder season is being shut down November 1st through December 15th because of construction? Why are you lying, Texas City? Why are you lying, Texas City? Nah, nah, nah. Y'all ain't slick. <laughs> When bored, when in doubt, freestyle it out. Give me a beat. Hey, hey, hey. It's that boy fishing trip, and I'm in the house. All you damn haters, you can shut your mouth. I don't really care because I'm catching trout. I'm going to win the flounder tournament, no doubt. Hey, I'm bored, y'all. <laughs>